The uh, water main emergency impacting seven different communities is still on track for repairs by the first week of September. But this is a problem that experts warn won't simply go away. The American Society of Civil Engineers issued a report last year that warned underfunding and upgrades in Michigan's water systems, quote, could lead to major crises affecting millions. Well, 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell takes an in-depth look at the problem it says we need to solve. As the Great Lakes Water Authority works to fix a break in a 10-foot wide water main that's left many people scrambling to find drinkable water, we're taking an in-depth look at our infrastructure. Time to fill it up. This is the new normal at Michael Galmiak Shelby Township home. So we have our big pot, you know, that we've been boiling water. He's boiling water as advised before he or his dog drinks it. Finding bottled water can be hit or miss, leading to long lines at this Shelby Township water giveaway. We went out to Walmart the other day. There was pretty much the entire water area aisle was uh, empty. Great Lakes Water Authority CEO Suzanne Coffey says the break happened in a 10 foot wide water main installed here in St. Clair County in 1973. The authority says the 49 year old underground high pressure water pipe had an expected usable life of between 50 and 100 years. The authority relies on sensors that monitor water pressure to signal a problem. New technology allows unmanned inspections, but pipes installed decades ago don't have access for that. As America's infrastructure ages, and we put a lot of this infrastructure in the whole, whole country in the 70s, we're now getting to a point where I'll say, oh, geez, now we're at this 50 year mark. We got to get in these pipes. We got to look at them. So that's where we're at. People should be concerned. Kelly Carl is the manager of environment and infrastructure at the Southeast Michigan Council of Governments, or SEMCOG. She pointed out the American Society of Civil Engineers gave Michigan's water infrastructure a D grade in 2018. It says Michigan has underfunded water system improvements between $284 and $563 million a year recently in violation of the Safe Drinking Water Act. Carl says recent federal infrastructure investments help, but they're not a total solution. The federal infrastructure bill allows for about $50 billion nationally on water infrastructure. That means Michigan will get about a billion dollars over the next five years. Um, in addition, and what I'm saying is just in our seven counties, we need three and a half billion annually. Oakland County Water Resources Commissioner Jim Nash says the price will only go up. If we don't have these investments, the costs down the road are going to be much greater. Again, emergency repairs are far more expensive. The Great Lakes Water Authority says it could be September 3rd before this break is fixed. It's scary how easily you know, one problem can cause huge problems for millions of people. If you're struggling right now to find drinkable water for your family, we have information at our website, wxyz.com. In Shelby Township, Kim Russell, 7 Action News. Kim, thank you.